You're tuned in to Supernatural Parenting with Patty and Zari. Hi. Hi. This is Patty from Supernatural Parenting with Patty and Zari, who's not here. But if you want to see her, both of us are on all of our sites. If you just Google Supernatural Parenting with Patty and Zari or Supernatural Parenting, you can find us on GodTube, YouTube, Twitter, Spreaker Rev Radio, iHeart Radio. We even have a website, zwriteswords.org. You can contact us there and you can get all of our fabulous books. Okay, thanks. Thanks for listening. And I want to talk today. My subject is on honor. I thought about talking about my home over. But then I said, no, no, maybe not. But I do like it. I'm old enough. I can wear it, right? I get distracted. Sorry. So I want to talk specifically about honoring people in authority. And I'm going to have a power burst at the end from my book. So the verse I have is from 1 Timothy two one and it says i urge then first of all that petitions prayers intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people and then it says for kings and all those in authority that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness for real, that's what God says for us to do, is to, what does it say? First of all, that petition, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people. Those are people in authority too, kings and those in authority. And then the blessing is the peaceful and the quiet lives that we are going to live out of obeying God's principle, right? And then when you role model this, your kids will live peaceful and quiet lives. So I want to read to you from my book, 10 Powerful Tips for Training Unstoppable Children by Me. And also, I want you to know that Zari has a book called Praying the Ten Commandments Over Your Kids. That's basically what it is. So both of those books touch on honor, which is a very important principle for you to model to your kids and pray over your kids. So in chapter two of my book, it says, honor the unstoppable blessing. There are 10 commandments in the Bible, but only one commandment has a blessing attached to it. Of all of the things that God could put in the commandments, he put this one. Commandment number five has been delivered to us with a blessing. This is what the Bible says. Honor your father and mother that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Ephesians 6, 2 through 3. As long as you honor your parents, you will live long and be blessed. <laughs> it will go well with you. So he starts from the cradle and says... You start with your parents in authority. And then I go on to teach more about that principle of honoring parents and parenting, teaching their kids to honor by honoring their kids and all that. And I want to extend it to what God says about authority. He doesn't say to slap them upside the head. He doesn't say to call them names. He doesn't say to degrade them publicly. He says to pray for them and to intercede for them. Just like you would your own kids or your own parents, right? Um, I don't know about you, but I was taught in a speech class that you don't call people just any old name. For example, the president. 
It's President Obama, not Mr. Obama, not Obama. It's President Obama, whether you like him or whether you don't. I don't know, it's old fashioned, but you know what? It's just a little thing of honor that I model. It's Governor Brewer, not Ms. Brewer, not Brewer, not that old hag lady. <laughs> like some people want, I'm sorry. You know, you don't know where I stand politically and I don't know where I stand. I mean, I stand with the kingdom of God. I vote the kingdom of God, that's what I vote. But regardless, if you start to model this, this will play out in blessings in your life and your kids will see this. For example, I try to always call the police officers in our area, police officers behind their back in in my car when i'm threatened by i might be stopped police officers not cops i know that's like a really really high level but it pays off i'm going to tell you a story that i had in learning how to honor and how god saved me um I it, had my daughter in the van when she was younger and we were on our way to like a Bible study thing on a Saturday morning early. And we went uh, kind of in a school zone by a high school who was that was totally rezoned. It was a Saturday morning, nobody was there. Early, doing Bible verses in the car, not really paying attention. It was a really slow speed with no signs, you know, to block you like the normal school signs because nobody was there. So I got pulled over by a police officer and I'm like, oh, my heart's racing because I get scared that I'm doing something wrong, you know. Um, and I'm just like, oh, God, help me. God, 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 God. And God said to me, Patty, don't say anything don't say a word and i knew that that meant to act respectfully and honor this person and he was on the shorter side and he had an angry uh, mood i think and he read me the riot act and he told me that i was going so fast because the speed was so slow i'm sorry that he could take me to jail with my daughter sitting in the back seat. I'm sorry, but that's a little much, but I just, I did not say anything because the Holy Spirit said, basically keep your mouth shut. I'm like, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. What would you like me to do, sir? And yes, I got the ticket. And yes, I had to go to driving school. And yes, I explained my predicament at driving school. Uh, the driving instructor, who was also a police officer, said, is there anybody that has ever gone through a, a school zone? And I'm like, he's like, shame on you. And then I explained, look, it was a Saturday morning. It was by a high school. It was totally rezoned. And I wasn't used to it. And there were no signs. And there were no people. <laughs> And there was no reason. And it was this part of the city. And he's like, yeah, so, well, they're really picky up there. And I was uh, justified. I mean, I was vindicated by my own words, which the Bible says, by the way, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And any words against you, you will refute you. That's in the Bible. Look it up. <laughs> So, um, it saved me from being, I guess, arrested or at least disrespected because he wanted to slap me down. Now, I'm not saying <laughs> that there wouldn't be a situation where you would be in danger and that police officers are not all good people. 
I know there have been some criminals who are disguised as police officers and there needs to be some resisting and some fighting and some protesting but you do respectfully what the Holy Spirit tells you you can say no I'm not going to another location <laughs> sir you do what the Holy Spirit says I am calling my lawyer with all due respect whatever it takes if you're in danger the Holy Spirit will tell you what to do duck run <laughs> I know it's not a laughing matter and and those kinds of things and I'm not trying to tell you to disobey the law at all but I'm just saying not everybody's honest and perfect and good but God will cover you and so I want to say that um, my power verse for today is honor is the unstoppable blessing it is it will work for you and for your kids don't forget to visit us on zwriteswords.org and with the power of the holy spirit you are super bye